What's up, YouTube? CJD here from Chris's Junkyard Designs with another recent cracks video. Um, all Hot Wheels today. I think it's some real good ones. I think you guys will like them. About 13 cars, 13 or 14 cars today. So take a look at those. Uh, I might do another video later tonight of the finds I got this morning. Um, took off from work today to go work on the cabin. I'm trying to get it done for this weekend. And I had to get some stuff at Walmart. Um, trash can, a bunch of other crap were up there. And I did, of course, I had to hit the die cast and I did find some stuff. So, pretty cool. But we'll do that in another video. So, right now, we'll just do the recent cracks. And we'll start off with this Callaway car, which is pretty cool. I believe I have a couple other ones of this somewhere in one container somewhere. But it's pretty cool looking. I like the white and the blue stripes. No no decal, no um, tampons whatsoever anywhere else, I don't believe. Nope, just a stripe. She's pretty cool. Uh, it is a plastic base. <clears throat> Definitely a nice looking car. Beautiful car. All right, next up we got a 65 vet convertible in this police livery, which I thought was really cool. Don't have too many 65 vet convertibles. Might even be my first one. I'm going to have to look when I put it in the vet collection. I don't remember seeing one. Very cool looking though. Got the red and the blue in the front. Awesome looking car. Beautiful vet for the collection. Love it. Next up, we got some Aston Martin. Um, what year was these? 63, I think it was. DB5s. So, I got two of these. They're the same from that gold finger, but it is a paint variation. One is very metallic, silvery. The other one's more like a, a dark silver with not much metallic in it. But everything else is exactly the same. Uh, the grill, I think, is a little darker than the gray one, too. The, the dark silver one. Oh, pretty cool. The color variation. You can obviously see it. It's very different. But everything else the same. Interiors, wheels, chrome base, tampos. Very cool looking car. <clears throat> I don't know if I have any others in my collection. I'm going to have to look. I don't know if these are my first. I might have a green one. I'm not positive. Yeah. Really cool. And now we have a gold one from that FAO Swartz 8-pack. This thing is freaking awesome. So we got some smoke glass. We got chrome. Uh, gold everywhere. Base. Paint. Wheels. Beautiful car. Absolutely beautiful car. I love this set. They did a great job on this set. Definitely worth the money. I think it was 20 bucks to order online from Walmart. I think it came to 25 total with everything. For eight cars, so three dollars a car, roughly. That's what we're paying now for these ones that are fully tampoed out anyway. So it doesn't matter to me. I like it. All the cars are great in the set. <clears throat> Next up, we have the Twin Mill. This was the weakest in the set for me. I don't really collect this casting. I do have a couple different ones, though. But it is definitely an iconic Hot Wheels casting for sure. So Very cool to have. Out of focus here. 
look like it. This one also has a gold base, gold wheels, gold motors, gold everything. Awesome looking. Very cool. Not one of my favorite castings, but I like it. Okay, so I turned the fan on. It's a little warm here today. It was a good day to work. It was raining a little bit off and on, but it was 70 degrees up here, which was great. <clears throat> All right, next up. This is a sweet one. Bone shaker. Gold. This is the second one that's come out in gold, the Larry Wood one, in that Larry Wood collection, I believe was gold, that I have. This does not have a gold base, which is very disappointing. It has that ugly yellow looking base on it. Two of them in this set have that. I wish this would have had the gold base. But it's still an awesome bone shaker for the collection. I love it. Very cool. Like I said, a great set. Okay, next up we got the Land Rover Defender 90. The casting I do collect. This one is beautiful. This is all gold as well, except for the interior, which is black, which is perfect. Beautiful. Land Rover 90. Love it. <sighs> Nicely detailed all over. I think except for the front, yeah. The front they didn't do, but everywhere else, sides and back are done nice. Very cool looking. Here's that T2 pickup Volkswagen. This one too is very disappointing. That, that base is not gold. It looks horrible on that base, I think. They should have did a gold base on this one. It would have looked so much better. And it still looks great. Another awesome T2 pickup for the collection. The whole bed's gold, at least. Beautiful casting. Looks great. Great set. Next up, we got the 71 Porsche 911 Carrera. I love this Porsche. One of my favorite Porsches. Look at that beauty. This is all gold, except for the interior. Looks great. Beautiful Porsche for the collection. Absolutely love it. Okay, and then next up we have the Nissan Skyline. One of my favorite castings in Nissan, too. This thing is awesome looking. And gold. This also has the gold base. Gold, everything except the interior. Which I think is perfect when you do the black interior with the gold. Looks great.
Beautiful car. Tampoed out in the rear and the sides, no front. Beautiful wheels on it, love those wheels. Definitely a nice set, without a doubt. Okay, next up we got the 67 Camaro, the last one in that set. This one's sweet looking as well. This one got gold everything. Interior, base. Oh no, the base is black on this one, which is fine. It's not that ugly yellow color. <clears throat> so it looks like three things are always gold. I think the wheels were gold on all of them. It's just the bases were different. And the interiors on some were gold and some weren't. But the, the T2 pickup, I think it was the worst one, putting that yellow on it. It should have made that gold. And the interior black or something. This is a beautiful Camaro. First gen Camaro for the collection. Love it. Absolutely love it. I figured while we're looking at that Camaro, I'll take this Camaro out that I got a little while ago. 67, also in gold. This was the chase for the anniversary set, 50th anniversary set. Pick that up on Tuck and Lugs. Auction, which was a great pickup. I'm wanting this one. Probably the best looking chase so far of all the anniversary sets. <laughs> Very cool. Beautiful color. Well, that'll do it from this episode of Recent Cracks, guys. I think that was about 14 cars. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. Um, I'll probably upload another one either tonight or set it for tomorrow. We'll see. Uh, the, all my finds today, which were pretty cool. All right, thank you again for all your likes and all your comments and all your support. I greatly appreciate it. And I wish you guys a great night.